The Edible Bean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Hensel Co-op. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Edible Bean School. Today I'm at Delta Power in Exeter, Ontario, and I'm catching up with combine technicians Brad Saunders and Andrew McCarthy. On this episode, Andrew and Brad are going to focus on harvest quality. How do we fine-tune the combine to avoid cracked seed coats and splits? Let's see what they have to say. First part you do with setup a combine is hooking it to the implement. Making sure that all your hook points are secured, all your hoses are on proper, all your electrical is in proper, all your lights work. Uh, then I like to check all the oil levels are good. Uh, prop oil uh, to keep it from overheating and the proper levels. Then I also like to make sure that all your greasers are greased uh, to keep from wear and tear. So where it all starts is feeding the beans into the combine, obviously. You want to ensure your pickup tooth to ground clearance is appropriate, so you're picking up beans but not rocks. You want to ensure all your pickup teeth are there and in place and in good working order. Again, bean quality is very important, so you got to be as gentle with them as you can. You want to ensure your in-feed auger is not wore too excessively or you start damaging the beans and same with your transition auger. Check the bearings start of every season, ensure they're greased properly but not too much. Final thing where it's feeding into the rotors you want to ensure your transition auger is in good shape and the front of your rotors. If the flighting on the front of your rotors is getting too wore the beans sit there and they don't feed in properly and again you're damaging the bean. From the transition augers we get into the rotors and what drives the rotors is these two big transmission gearboxes. It is important to daily check all the idler bearings are okay and that the belts are correctly tensioned and evenly tensioned. If one belt is getting worn and becomes a little more slack than the rest of them, a good chance it's going to start slipping and you're going to plug the rotors which is going to damage the beans. And another thing is these rotors come standard with two speed options. You can adjust it from 500 to 350 depending on moisture and conditions to optimize the thrashing. Uh, so up here, this combine has two rotors to help uh, increase the volume of product you can bring into the combine. The important thing to watch is that your flighting at the front is not wearing down and that all your pins are correctly, correctly worn and placed. Uh, once your pin gets below one third worn, it is no longer thrashing properly and should be replaced. You also need to watch and make sure that the concaves aren't wearing thin because if they're wearing thin, they're going to start putting holes in it and then you're not going to have proper thrashing either. So it's important as you're harvesting to monitor your speeds of all your components of the combine to ensure they're doing the proper job and ensure nothing's plugged or anything like that. Again, to maximize efficiency and ensure bean quality. Uh, so the final thing on bean combine setup is making sure you get the clean sample into the bin and the residue properly spread across the field. To do that, you want to make sure that your conveyor chains are tensioned properly and that no buckets are broken or missing. That way all the crops getting brought up into the bin and that your fans are producing the proper amount of flow. To do that, you want to make sure that they're not built up full of mud and dirt causing improper balance and breaking the bearings. And you also want to make sure that the wear strips are properly there and not worn causing lack of flow. You also want to make sure that your sieves are neat and tidy so that all the beans can go through the sieves and be properly, properly sent up to the augers. Um, and with the choppers, you want to make sure your chopper knives are nice and sharp so that they properly cut up and distribute the debris across the field. 